So, this is my review on the cube for you 3x3x5. Three by three by now, this is a disproportional one, so it's the same size as a 3x3, three three, and these two layers the same size as this one layer, so it's just split in half. So you can see they move independently, which is what you'd expect, but the cool thing about this is when you do moves like this, it because it's a 3x3x5, three by three by it you can't move these layers, but because of the size, it doesn't sh shape shift. I actually really do like this puzzle. I'm just going to show you the checkerboard pattern of it. It's kind of nice. Now, uh, this puzzle is very easy to solve, despite what it looks like. It's pretty much just, uh, if you know how to solve a 3x3, three three, and if you know how to solve a 2x3x3, three three, you know how to solve this puzzle. This puzzle does get a parity, which is just these pieces can, like, you know, the centers, but on the middle layers, they can be interchangeable because they're two red centers. So if you have those in the wrong place, it will create parity. So you have two pieces, like these two corner pieces or these two center pieces. I guess they're edges, but you have them out of whack and it might not look like it, but you really do have four pieces. So it's more just like a false equivalency instead of a parody, but you know, it kind of solves like a parody. Now, uh, I'm going to say the things I dislike about this puzzle and the things I like about this. Now, the things I dislike about this puzzle, the plastic is way too flexible. Because of that, you have to have it on really tight tensions, otherwise it'll pop. In fact, I just did a solve and these three pieces, not even like the full thing, but the half of them, they popped out. As you can see, I did like one turn and it catches. That's another thing I dislike. So there are some serious flaws of this puzzle, but I do still like it. Like it looks really cool, especially just how they make it, because what they do is they just take an edge piece and they split it in half and go down. So it still turns properly for both layers. It, so they don't need a design like a completely new puzzle. They just have to split the pieces. They do the same thing for the corners. So I kind of like that. It's very interesting. But also, I do like the solve just because like, it is still pretty fun, even with the flaws aside. Like it's the same thing as a 3x3x5, three by three by but it's really interesting going through the solve, and it's kind of not that hard, but still relaxing. And because it does not shape shift, you don't have these pieces sticking out, so it's easier to turn. Also, this puzzle cost me, I think, like $14, so it's really nice and inexpensive, so it's a lot better than the other options out there for the 3x3x5s, plus I've heard that they have their own issues too, so you're not going to find a perfect 3x3x5. The turning is not that bad, it's nothing great. Uh, the corner cutting is very bad. Well, that was the reverse. Here's the actual core cutting. Like it's nothing speed cube, and that speed cubes have. You can't speed cube with this puzzle. I definitely wouldn't recommend trying, especially because you have to have it on tight tension so it doesn't pop. But it's not bad. Uh, moving across here, it's pretty smooth. Same thing's true with this layer. In fact, this layer is even better. But across here. You hear more grinding because it's got all these lines that it's going across. So it's more grinding, it catches more, which is unfortunate because the majority of the moves are like this. But yeah, I do like this puzzle. And if you do like cuboids, I would recommend getting this puzzle over the actual 3x3x5s three three that are like, sorry, this big. Because it costs less, it's really not that bad. Like, I know I'm making it out to seem like it's the worst puzzle ever, but really isn't. Like, it has its flaws, but in the end, it's still a decent puzzle. And I don't regret buying it. I like that I bought it. So, yeah, if you're thinking of getting a 3x3x5, three three I'd recommend this one. So, thanks, guys. If you have any questions, feel free to ask. Like, comment, and subscribe. Or do all three if you really want to get my good books. So, thanks, guys. See ya.